Hey guys, if you like this content, I would greatly appreciate it if you guys liked the video and subscribed to my channel. It helps uh, make these videos worth it going forward. What's up guys, Alcoin Sherpa here with a crypto market review. As always, this is not financial advice. I am not an expert, do your own research. Okay, so today we are going to review Bitcoin and Aptos. What are we looking at? Bitcoin is in a multi-month range where there really isn't much um, overall price action not much volatility overall. Uh, it's just a lot of really choppy, choppy, choppy moves. So overall, it's been several months, almost what, four months now or something, uh, before we've seen any really significant move. And um, there's really no clear direction either. I'm gonna say that, generally speaking, the Accumulation periods in Bitcoin's history, at least, if you look at the 6K to 3K drop, it was um, around this amount of time. Now, the context is obviously very different. This was a year long period where price had lower highs and lower, lo lower lows, and then it nuked one last time 50% from 6K to 3K. Whereas current, the current status is that we have seen this big drawdown here, you know, from 70K to 20K, but we haven't had that last final shakeout. Are we going to hit it? I, I don't know. I mean, that's a lot of people think that it's quite possible that we hit it. Don't really know, to be frank and honest, what. Um, is going to happen if if we do take a 50% dump from here, obviously it's going to go to like 10 12k levels um, And at that point, I think it would just be it like, you know, all coins would get totally fucking wrecked Bitcoin one last plunge down and then we would have this kind of last Accumulation cycle where price would go boom, you know down to 10 12k or whatever And then we would just chop around for many months again Similar to what this current price action would be like um, that would be like one scenario. There's a few other scenarios too that, that can definitely happen. Um, I'm more of the opinion that price would go up before nuking lower. So, you know, maybe we like chop around more, maybe we reject at 25 and then like maybe 30 K. And then at that point when everyone's starting to get really bullish around here, we dump all the way back down to like 15 K. Um, you know, nuke down, take out the lows, and then continue, uh, continue just chopping around. At that point, this is, in my opinion, what I'm viewing as a more likely scenario. But again, it's it's really it's really hard to tell. And Bitcoin is really just at the mercy of macro. It's too hard to tell and dictate um, what's going to happen in the next several months. Um, and I know it's easy to just say, oh, big move is coming, but it really is, in my opinion, a big move is coming because this entire choppy price action, we haven't really seen any significant moves overall. Um, you know, this volatility has been pretty low, uh, you know, very choppy, very thin price action, thin candles. Um, you know, we haven't really seen much. Even in the last month or so, we haven't really seen much. Whereas we saw some sort of trending action back in July and August where price was cl clearly trending up before um, nuking lower and then trending down. Whereas this type of price action that we've seen has just been very, very uh, interesting to see, very choppy and no real clear direction. So I guess the question is for yourself to ask is if you think that the lows are going to get taken out now or if, you're gonna, if they're going to get taken out later. I do believe that they're going to get taken out eventually. I do think 17.6k will get taken out. I just don't know what or when it's going to look like. I even said this all the way back in June and July. Um, I just think it's likely that it eventually gets taken out. Uh, I'll be maybe I'm wrong. I don't know, um, but I just think it's 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 too likely that that level at least gets tested uh, one more time. Up until then, you have this wick here at 17.9K, and then also you have these other wicks as well that have acted as interesting SR levels. Um, for instance, this wick down on the uh, September 21st, price clearly tested that area recently in October 13th. 
Um, but there really, as I said, there's really no clear direction here that I can see. And I do believe these wicks will get taken out eventually. I just don't know what it's going to look like. Again, maybe we see price kind of start to uh, move up and and uh, go up 25K and then dump lower. I, I don't know what it's going to look like. Maybe it even goes higher, 30K. Don't know what it's going to look like. Um, but I do feel the lows will eventually get taken out. Now, if you look at some high time frame point of view, uh, some levels, I think like the, oopsies. I think that the interesting levels would be something like um, this 12K area is interesting to me because it's acted as resistance all th for like uh, multi-year, honestly. Uh, you know, beginning of, 18 all the way through 19 and almost all the way through 2020 so it's it's a really long supply a huge supply zone and that theoretically should be a good uh, sr level another uh, level that i'm looking at would be this 14k level it's the weekly close back in the Ju uh, january 2018 area and as well as it wicked up at the um, high in june 2019 all the way up to like 13.8k this also should be an interesting area to check out. Until that point, we uh, saw you know this current level of 20K is being tested a lot right now. And there's also the weekly close here, right around 16K, as well as this wick up. So you know these levels are all the ones that I'm viewing from higher time frame point of views. And one of these levels should provide pretty reasonable support. If you are just very bearish macro, I think you just are fine putting in bid 16K, 14K, and then 11.5K um, or so, that probably should get you reasonable exposure. And a DCA, in my opinion, is the best option for, for, many, for many people, just because not many people are active traders, et cetera, et cetera. So if we look a little bit more on the lower time frame charts, here's BTC on the four hour. I did this range overall just because this is, in my opinion, the range that we're playing with. Um, whenever you mark a range, you just want to mark some of the highs and the lows. And sometimes you have to adjust your range too. Sometimes you have to adjust uh, where the next low comes in. So I had to adjust this range low um, here at 18.1K because price recently spiked down to that level. So that's kind of an area that I, I recently uh, marked. And this supply zone, I'm sorry, this demand zone around 18.5K to 8, uh, 19K, this is kind of like a next level up area. But oh, as, I, as I said before, there's not really any uh, clear direction in my opinion. Um, this 200 EMA on the four hour has acted as resistance several times. You can see that every time it gets tapped, um, price just goes lower. And this is pretty common in general. What you want to see is you want to see price clumping together with all the EMAs and everything tightening up. At that point, um, price is more likely to uh, get going. So what I mean by that is um, you can see that price is starting to interact more with um, with the EMA, the 200 EMA. This is after a big, big nasty move down. Obviously, price starts to compress. Uh, price goes above the EMA and then and goes above it, trades above it, while all these other EMAs are clumping together. What you want to see here, and this is right now is even more compressed than it was before. Um, I do believe there's going to be a time fairly soon, actually, when price uh, does move higher because you can see this EMA has, has tapped price quite um, a lot over the last several weeks. And you didn't really see that before uh, during the trending period during July. Which is why I personally am the opinion that price is going to go higher before new lows. Um, or in the sense that I should say, sorry, if price does go to new lows, then it's at least going to go higher first. Um, I do believe that price will at least go to like 22K or something like that. I don't know when or what's going to look like, but that's my opinion. Um, price will either go to 22K and then potentially nuke to new lows. Um, but I don't think it just goes straight to new lows from here. I would be surprised. Um, but you can clearly see that the 200 EMA on the four hour is acting as resistance um, still and price can't break above it. Okay, let's briefly look at Aptos. Aptos is a hot new chain um, and Binance just listed it. It's really, I wouldn't really call this like a situation where 
you need to trade this coin because it's heavily vol it's heavily volatile and it's it's probably not a good long term investment. So would really be careful about that. Um, it just got listed recently, so you can really use a lot of these other um, this other price action. But I don't really think that it's I don't think it's really a good play unless you want to really gamble. Um, and I recently got in around um, current price, actually seventeen seventy or seven seventy as a starter position. Um, there's a potential brief shift in market structure where price hit this low, hit a lower high, and then hit a higher low, as you can see back in um, you know October nineteenth earlier, and hit a higher high, and in order for market structure, in my opinion, to still be valid, you'd want it to keep maintaining above this higher low, the 752 area. Um, in my opinion, that's kind of the area that you, you really want to watch for. Uh, but TA is really not super useful. I don't even know why I'm charting it. I'm just talking about it just because, you know, it is a coin that's heavily traded right now. Um, this trend line just got demolished here, as you can see on the minute chart. Um, and the next trend line here that I can see is this one here that would mark support close to where price got uh, went, you know, around the seven point six seven dollars sixty cents area. But overall, it's just not really super clear to me. Um, insiders could still be dumping. Hard to really say. I actually do believe that this is going to go higher. And the reason is that I think uh, VCs need exit liquidity. So, yeah, just kind of some overall thoughts here on that. Um, if you do see it start to kind of consolidate, then. I think that it should do okay. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for the support. Take care.